Hi guys, so welcome. Today I've got Jason Fangenren. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks, and Jerry. I wanted to take this opportunity to learn a bit more about the, the role of uh, storytelling in Facebook advertising because what I'm really trying to do in this group and through this content and through YouTube is uh, help small business owners and marketers get a better return for the time uh, and, and the money that they're investing and when they put it into Facebook advertising. Perhaps you could just shed a bit of light on uh, some of your experience and, and you know what what your journey's been and, and kind of what's what's brought you to where you are. Sure, sure. Well, um, so Treehouse Cre- Creative is our uh, our primary business, yeah. Um, and uh, we're we're a storytelling. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like using the word agency. We're <laughs> we're, we're storytellers, okay, essentially. Okay. Yeah. Um, so there's four of us. We're based in Terrigal. Um, we're we're a really cool, tight knit focused, passionate uh, group of people. I think I just said we're cool. We're probably not so cool. We're in a cool space. No, you, know, like, you are. Definitely. We love what we do. I think you're cool people. <laughs> I do. Um, so from, from a background, we, we started very much, Treehouse is now 17 years old. Yeah, it makes me feel okay. so old when I think about that. Yeah, yeah. But um, <laughs> <laughs> Treehouse is 17 years old. We started very much as a traditional marketing and advertising agency um, and we learned to kind of evolve our messaging with the times. Yeah. Um, you know, the, the, the huge, uh, the validity of social media in the storytelling market and also in the business space mm. really helped give, um, video storytelling wings. Mm. Um, we uh, concurrently were also making a lot of outside of our, our brand commercials and brand stories and, and brand communications that we do. We were working on a number of short films and little documentaries and things that we just do as passion projects. Mm. We were fortunate to have a lot of success with those around yeah, the world. Yeah, yeah. And um, uh, in a weird way, we had a lot of success with films that we shot with unexpected devices. So we started carving a bit of a niche for ourselves in making stories on smartphones. Okay. And then Perry, we kind of reached this point where it's like we saw an opportunity where we could infuse this into the stuff we were doing commercially. Then this year we reached... The pinnacle of, of where we're at in that, we thought to ourselves, we're running around the world, we're doing all these great talks at film festivals and colleges and universities and all that sort of stuff, talking about how the smartphone is really um, kind of revolutionized and democratized storytelling yeah, yeah. For, for not only brands, but for anyone with a great story to tell. Yeah. And we thought, you know what, we're running around telling people this, but we're still filming on other cameras as well. So we stopped. We, we got rid of all of our other cameras. And now we film all of our content exclusively on smartphones. Yeah, wow. Well. And I think we're the first um, dedicated sort of video production agency in Australia that's yeah. actually downscaled their tools. <laughs> yeah. If you could help us out and give us three uh, quick tips uh, to create a, a storytelling piece uh, that you think will, will, will make an impact for the, the audience that uh, our viewers are trying to reach. Sure. For, vi- for video content? For video content cool. specifically, yeah, yeah. Okay. Through your mobile phone. Yep. Yeah. The first tip I would probably give is uh, make sure that whatever you're going to say or create a content piece on is valid. Is it meaningful? Does it have purpose? Okay. Do people want to know and hear and see you? But has it got something okay. of value in it for the people you're going to share it for? Or is it something that's just important to you? And how would you how would you know that? Would you ask people perhaps? You know, it's definitely is there can, something that you'd give a crap about? You know, it's a great like, thing you can do yeah. now with you know, your polling you can do on Facebook. Yeah, uh, okay. The conversations you can precede. Yeah. To create to see what's useful, we do it all the time in what we do. Even f- frequently asked questions, like uh, you might find that your customers or your clients are coming to you with frequently asked questions. Um, could that potentially be a place to start in terms Absolutely. of picking a topic? What do they want to know? Yeah, and make that. Yep. That's what you know, that's of value to them. Yep. So that'd be tip number one: is just really think about the way you're going to explain it and what you're going to say is of value to the people you want to share it to. That's okay. the first one. Second one, and this is ironic because we're talking about a video format. The second tip I'd give you is get a little microphone, mm. like these ones we're wearing, a little, yep. a little lapel microphone. Yep. Um, clear sound in your video is more important than pretty pictures. Mm. This is coming from a video guy. Mm. If you have crappy sound, the audience is far more likely to turn off okay. and, and only watch it for three seconds and move on. Okay. If they can hear that the sound is nice and clear, they're going to stick with it. Okay. So clear sound. Um, and the third thing would probably be uh, think about stability, think about the frame, think about um, uh, if you're hand holding it, mm-hmm. does it look smooth? Because mm. if it's doing this all the time, mm. or if you're zoomed in and you know it's mm. really, really jerky, yeah. that's really hard for people to watch. So yeah. 
either keep your camera nice and steady as in you know balance it against something pile of books window frame whatever it might be okay. keep it nice and steady you got yours sitting on a tiny tripod here today yeah uh, or if you do want to keep it moving we talked before about a 200 hundred dollar gimbal yeah uh, you know like digital gimbal where you can just stick your phone in you can go walking running whatever you want to do yeah it's going to keep it steady that's so, so handy think about your content make sure your content is killer yeah it's a value to yeah. your audience yeah invest in a good microphone yeah. so your sound nice and clear and stability in your video imaging and nail those three things and you're 90% of the way to having killer content for Facebook.